Hi there, I'm Bonnie McCaffrey and thank you so much for coming back this month. I've come across Leslie Riley here at the Quilt Market and she does some really fascinating stuff with Luchador. Luchador. Leslie, what exactly is this Luchador? Okay, Luchador is started out as, well, it is an interfacing material and it started out as an industrial interfacing for the automotive and furniture What's industry. What's it feel like? Luchador feels kind of stiff. It's not something you'd want to wear or sleep under. Uh huh. So we're, it's primarily used for mixed media and art quilts and embellishing art quilts. Before art quilts, what did they use it for? Okay. Have you ever, um, when you maybe were littler, gotten under your bed and looked up at the box spring? I do recognize that. <laughs> and maybe you've been under your bed and recognized Luchador. There was a, yeah. oh, so maybe we should go to the old mattresses and right. tear out the stuff. Right, if the, you want it for free. There we go. But it's not expensive. Yeah, yeah okay. You can, you can buy it by the yard. Um, I know some shops started carrying it. It's made by Pellon. Oh, good. So they can get it by the bolt or by the roll. But you can also get it by the... Um, Package. Eight and a half by eleven sheet package through C and T, oh, and that's great for making little books. Yeah, you're going to show us some neat yeah. stuff. Okay, let's take a look at some of the things. Well, first of all, you've written the book on using Luchador and all the great things okay. you can do with it and the right. techniques. That's mm. terrific. Okay, so tell me about this little book. Okay, well, this is I like to call this my sample book. It's made with the eight and a half by eleven sheets from C and T. But as you see, it comes white. It's pretty boring. But that's the way the industry sells it because they don't care about color when, right. when they're under the bed. You right. Know? <laughs> so you play with it by adding um, acrylic paints, uh, Dynaflow paints, anything that's an acrylic paint. You don't want a regular heavy bodied paint. You okay. want something more fluid that's going to um, be easy Saturate. to manipulate. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and then Sweet. all of these different pages show different techniques. You can burn into it with a craft tool. And you're going to show us that. Yes, I will. Yeah. And you can um, get little dimensional elements by zapping it with a heat gun. Cool. You can write on it. Oh. This is what I call lacing. Ooh, what a great texture. That's from the heat tool because yeah. it's, um, it's a synthetic product. So when you put heat on it, like Tyvek, it just kind of shrinks and morphs away. Yeah. Um, stamping on it. You yeah. can glue paper and other fabric onto it. This has been um, embossed with the embossing powder and obviously some beads yeah. and just adding pictures. Or so because it is transparent to some extent and the paints you put on it are transparent, you can use it for layering onto paper and other fabrics. You can um, lace it here with the heat gun again and then you get this texture for it and there's a girl's face. How'd you get her face on there? I actually printed it From right print. on Luchador. I put it right through my printer. Cool. Now you can do that. I think that would probably be good if, it, if the printer doesn't have heat on it. Right, it has to be an inkjet printer. Okay, there we go. That's yeah. probably an important thing very, to know. Very important. <laughs> Some of the other techniques you can do with it is Thermofax printing and rubber stamping and um, screen printing. So anything you can do to fabric, yeah. you can do to yeah. Luchador. And if you look at the vidcast, there is a Thermofax vidcast with Maggie Weiss. That's right. I just already. watched that before I left for Houston. Cool. That's, That's great. great. Okay, and it's really nice for making books because it's got some body to it. Yeah, it does. It's kind of like a nice stiff page. Right, but more flexible, and you right. still get that right. fabric feel. Yeah, I'm a fabric fabric girl all the way. This is. Um, just a book, I'm, a simple book I made by um, wonder undering some images that I printed on fabric okay. and then gluing all the embellishments that I like to save. I got Aww. like some nice trims there. Yeah. And playing with the edges of the pages too using the heat tools. Yeah. That is okay. so neat. All right. And then foiling. Oh, and yeah, we love foiling. Transferring photos as well. Yeah. And I don't know. Neat just, texture. Yeah. That's what I like about using the heat tool. You can get all these tiny oh. details that oh. you wouldn't want to sit there and cut. And you're going to show us that in a minute. Yeah. Yes, I am. Stick with us. Okay. And then one of my favorite things to do with Luchador is to transfer images onto it. Okay. Okay. This is another book I made using larger sheets of Luchador and just giving it color tints. 
because Luchador is translucent and transfers are some somewhat transparent. Yeah. Transparent. They're both transparent. They're yeah. not translucent. Um, I like the way that the images flow into each other. You yeah. can see the front and back. Now, how did you get these images on here? These images come from my new product, Transfer Artist Paper. Oh. Leslie wants to show you what this tap stuff is all about. Now, right. this is the, t you use tap to transfer this photo. Right. And so you're going to show us how you do that using your tap. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm.